Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today I'll show you how to enter the recovery mode and what options you get on my Fossil Gen 5. So let's get started. If it's your first time on my channel, consider subscribing as I do regular videos for very smart watches like this one, smartphone reviews, tech tutorials and much more. You'll find a dedicated playlist for Fossil Gen 5 with more detailed videos like this one so be sure to check it out. Okay, before I start, I want you guys to know that I'm not the developer and enter the recovery mode at your sole discretion. This video is a way to show you guys how I access the recovery mode on my Fossil Gen 5 and what options I get. I'll try my best to explain all these options at my best abilities. Some of these options may be identical on other Vera smartwatches. I recently did a video on recovery mode for TicWatch Pro 2020 which you can find linked at the end of this video. By any chance if you have seen that video make sure to watch this as I have shown all the options in depth which I have missed on that video. With that being said let's start by entering the bootloader. To enter the bootloader press and hold the middle crown button and the bottom right button simultaneously until the watch restarts after which you will feel a haptic vibration. Keep pressing until you feel that vibration as if you leave in between the watch will just restart. The process to enter the bootloader may be slightly different as it was on my TicWatch Pro and if that's the case on your Wear OS smartwatch please comment down below. Now that we are in the bootloader, I really like the bootloader of the Fossil Gen 5 which is Triggerfish versus the Catfish on my TicWatch Pro which as you can see in this image is barely readable due to the tiny text. The options in the bootloader are also slightly uh, different compared to the TicWatch Pro. The first option is start which is self explanatory you can select it by long pressing the crown button and doing so will just start the watch normally. Next option is shipping mode. In the previous recovery mode video I did for the fossil gen 5 this option did not work and showed this error as shown in this image but finally I was able to figure it out. When you long press on this option the watch will basically shut down. After which no matter what you do, you will not be able to turn it on again unless you put it in charging. Once you put it in charging, the watch will just start up normally. So I guess you can use this option when you know that you will be placing the watch in a bag where it might turn on because of the buttons being pressed accidentally. I guess manufacturer uses this option before placing the watch in the box. So it does not turn on accidentally when the buttons are being pressed. Unless you put it in charging. You can also prank your friends by this option as they won't be able to turn it on no matter what they do. Just kidding. Stay away from messing around in the bootloader. Next option is leak test. I recently discovered this option. It wasn't there when I did the previous video on Fossil Gen 5's bootloader. Honestly, I don't know what it is for. I assume it would be some form of a leak test where the speaker would push out the water when submerged in water as done on the Apple Watch. But when I long press on this option, it basically restarts the bootloader. Just as it would on the next option, which is the reboot bootloader. But at least in this option it makes sense as the name is self-explanatory that it will reboot which is restart this bootloader. So if you guys know what this particular option is for please comment down below. Next option is recovery mode. I will come back to it in a second but the last option in this bootloader is the power off which as the name implies it will basically shut down the watch after which you can start it normally. Now let's talk about the recovery mode. When you try to enter it by long pressing the crown button, the watch will restart and lead you to this no command screen. This was also the case in my TicWatch Pro and I assume it will be the case in most of the various smart watches. But in the previous video I did, I did not know how to go past this no command screen. But thanks to one of my subscriber Anon. I'm now able to go past this and to do that you have to press the crown button and simultaneously swipe up from the bottom of the screen. 
instantly you will enter the recovery mode with the details of the recovery mode version and the android recovery at the top it says to swipe up or down to toggle between options and swipe right or left to select one particular option you can also click on the crown button to select the particular option i wish we can use this rotating crown to toggle between options but apparently i can't so there are 11 items in the recovery options the first one is reboot system now which as the name implies will restart the watch to its normal state next option is reboot to bootloader again as the name implies this will take you back to the bootloader from which we came over here in the first place moving on the next one is apply update from adb adb stands for android debug bridge this basically allows you to apply a software update to the fossil gen 5 using the android debug bridge adb software on your laptop or pc i'll advise you to refrain from entering it unless you know what you're doing it next option is apply update from sd card this is intended to allow the device to load a software image that was previously stored on an sd card obviously fossil gen 5 does not have an expandable storage but this is for Wear OS smartwatches with an expandable storage or primarily for android mobile phones next is wipe data slash factory reset this is why most of the people access the recovery mode if for any reason the screen is not working on the fossil gen 5 then you will not be able to enter the settings to do a factory reset then your last option will be to enter the recovery mode and factory reset from here long pressing on this will start erasing everything including apps games watch face music image settings etc and revert the watch back to its original factory setting basically as it was when it came out of the box for the first time so this will be extremely helpful when your fossil gen 5 is bricked either because of some faulty app or watch face or some bug or glitch when nothing works you can try this moving on it's the wipe cache partition this will wipe all the data from the cache partition the cache partition is a partition in the hard drive which is used as a memory to temporarily store data Again, this is not the objective of this video and I would advise you to refrain from getting into here. Next is mount system. This is more of an engineering or a development function. This menu item simply mounts the file system. This would only be relevant for an unlocked device that would then allow access to the file systems for additional testing. As shown in this image of the bootloader, the device status of this fossil gen 5 says locked. So I assume we won't be able to mount any system. Next is view recovery log. I'll come back to this in a second. Let's talk about the next options which is run graphic test. This is a very basic self test function that performs a series of screen tests on the watch by displaying a sequence of images and actions on the screen. This images and action will complete automatically and return you back to the recovery mode. There is no pass fail feedback in here. This test simply is a mean to determining whether the screen is operating or not. Next option is run local test. Once you enter this by long pressing the crown button, you'll enter this screen which says show background text image with current locale 0 out of 47. It says swipe up or down to toggle between locales and press the power key to exit. Basically, there are 47 locales, also known as region or languages, and this test basically displays the no command text of a particular region at the bottom. This is how the Hindi language locale looks like, and there are 47 more of these. Let's exit, and the last option in the recovery mode is power off which again as the name implies will shut down the watch after which you can normally start the watch now let's talk about the leftover view recovery log option before ending this video this option allows to view the system logs like software update etc when you enter it by pressing the crown button you'll get this screen which for me shows 1 out of 13 items 
Again, you can swipe up or down to toggle between these items and swipe left or right to enter or exit. You can also do that by clicking the crown button. Let's open one of the logs to show how it looks. It basically displays the text file of that log. This will not make sense unless you are a coder or a developer. Now to exit this, you can swipe right couple of times until the watch restarts to its normal state. So that's it with the bootloader and the recovery mode options on this Fossil Gen 5. Now with the information shown in this video, you can sort of get yourself out of any awkward situation of your watch like a frozen app, non-functional screen, a corrupted third-party app or watch face. But again, I'll reiterate that this is an uncharted territory, so enter at your own discretion and refrain from entering any option you're not aware about unless you really know what you're doing. But either way, I just wanted to show you guys all these cool options available in the bootloader and rationalize them at my best capabilities. I also want you guys to know that you can chat with me directly on my Discord server linked in the description of this video and there you can also discuss and troubleshoot a lot of smartwatches and smartphones. So if you are on Discord, please join me on my server. With that being said, I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot. Thanks so much for watching and take care. I'll catch you guys in the next one.